Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm turning Jabba's palace from Star Wars into a light box. So I hope you enjoy! So the other day I rewatched the original three Star Wars movies with my family and I enjoyed them, they were pretty good. And the single shot that stuck out from the whole three movies was the one of Jabba's The Hutt's Palace. Like that one scene where they showed a little guy eating the creature <laughs> or whatever. And the second I saw it I was like, I have to make this into a light box. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. After I prepped my paper, I got started on the main palace. I put every element of the palace on separate layers, so this layer here has the main bulk of the building. I sketched out the main shape and then I use a ruler to get all the lines of the roof's level. Once I had the shape all good, I cut it out. And now for the fun part, adding the details onto the building. My plan for the details was that all of the little add-ons like the little squares and knickknacks on the sides of the buildings and the dark shading that's under the roofs would be just another layer of cardstock glued behind. And then I had thinner paper that I wanted to add little splotchy pieces and some shading for the overall building. So that's what I did, and I cut out every little piece and I glued everything in place. And then I just did the same with the shading. I realized I wanted some deeper shadows, so I doubled up the paper on the thin parts to get it darker. Once it was done, I moved on to the next part of the building, which is this little tower on the side. I used I used that first layer when drawing to get the position right and then I did everything else basically exactly the same as earlier. I really like the design of the palace. I like that it's just three different towers and it's pretty simple, like the sides and I just like the overall shapes of it, the very roundness. And it also matches the scenery, the desert landscape very well, so that's pretty cool. So I did a little research and Jabba's palace is on Tatooine, which is the where Luke Skywalker was born. But also a little background on the palace itself. So it was originally built apparently as a monastery for <laughs> the B Bamar order who believed basically in separating themselves physically from like sensations to enhance their minds. So they put their brains into jars to achieve this. However, over time the palace ended up falling to the smuggler Jabba the Hutt which is how it is in movie, um, who used it for his headquarters and just made it into his place, yeah. <laughs> and then way later on, it ends up being Boba Fett's palace, so I guess it's pretty interesting. I'm not the hugest Star Wars fan, so I don't really know all the cool details and backstories and all that stuff, so... But yeah, as you can see, I finished that tower and I just did the last one in the distance the same way. Uh, 
Then I moved on to the terrain, which is really, really simple. And I didn't want to just cut out each layer and leave it at that because I thought it would be very boring. So I tried adding details on the rocks in the form of lines and shapes that I glued on. I did this on all the layers and I wasn't sure if it was going to lo actually look good. But I decided to commit because I just thought, you know, it couldn't be worse than just plain, like, no details. So I thought any detail is good detail, basically. So once all of that was over, I move on to the final part of this scene. That little creature sitting in the foreground. Apparently it's, um, a boicular? <laughs> I don't know, which is described as kind of a frog dog creature. He's kind of like a guard dog slash pet for Jabba the Hutt. Um, and the picture that I used as a reference didn't really show him too well. So I just tried to make him look as good as I could in the picture. He turned out a little bit derpy, but he's pretty cute and kind of simple. And finally, before I could assemble everything all together, I had to do the sky, which basically I used my thinner paper and I cut out where the two planets or stars, I'm not sure where they are, basically. And then I also added cloud shapes with more thin paper and that looked pretty good. And then I assemble the whole thing using foam board as spacers. And here it is done. I'm really happy with it. I went with this really dark orangey red color because it fit the scene very well. Um, <laughs> the little frog dog in the foreground turned out a little bit too dark. You can't really see that well. But otherwise, everything turned out pretty good and I'm really happy with this light box. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!